I am Abby Beezer. I am a part of the undergrad podcast lab, and this is my kind of final little presentation. Uh, I've titled it Pitches and Early Stages of Design Thinking. So I am Abby Beezer, like I said, I host IDK Adulting, a 25 to 30 minute educational podcast that takes a basic look at the practical adult skills that we all wish we had learned better when we were younger. <laughs> so one of the most important things we've talked about in this class has been design thinking. So a quick review of that is empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. But I'm not gonna take you guys through the entire process of that with my podcast. Uh, I'm just gonna focus on the early stages of IDK adulting and design thinking from the earliest glimmer of an idea to when I got episode one posted. So empathize, finding the points of interest for your audience, define what is the problem and how can we solve it, and uh, ideate, how am I gonna do it? And so, I mean, that's how we hope things go. Life is always kind of loopy and insane, but it's actually happened pretty much like that looking back with this podcast. And, but what do these steps look like in actuality? They look like a pitch a podcast pitch, <laughs> and where empathize, define, and ideate, make up the different parts of your pitch and help to form it, and then cool thing with a pitch, you get to kind of test it. But with those pitches, I noticed that there isn't one set type. We've actually done three different types, and these are informal, semi-formal, and formal pitches. And they all have different varying levels of being fleshed out. So the first type, is informal. And this can be just chatting with people in class, on Slack, with your friend or roommate about ideas that you have, but they're not really clarified, they don't have a plan of action and that sort of thing. And then there are semi-formal pitches. These are the ones that we've done in class in front of our peers, and they are much more fleshed out and they kind of have a plan of action, but not quite. <laughs> like they're in the beginning stages of having that. And then there are the formal pitches. We have done these on the Undergrad Podcast Lab podcast with Dr. Burton, where we have a set form uh, that he wants us to follow in creating it with a tagline, a title, summary, everything like that. Basically, has a plan of action. So one of the most interesting things I've noticed as I've done this and as others have is that a pitch can move from informal to semi-formal to formal as it goes through repeated processes of design thinking. And so I've done this myself. Informally, I talked about a mental health podcast, a collector's podcast, and nerd and geek culture podcast with other people in the class on Slack and in person, and it's been so much fun. Some of them didn't go anywhere, but yeah. Uh, Semi-formally, I presented an idea for a musical discussion podcast. That one also didn't go anywhere, but that's okay. And I formally presented what was then known as I Don't Know What I'm Doing and an audio drama podcast. And so this I Don't Know What I'm Doing podcast began through empathization. I thought, what would people my age want to learn about most? Because I want to do educational. And from talking with everyone, it came out to be adult skills like finances, because I had a really sucky personal finance class in high school. <laughs> and talking to my peers and everyone, they wanted to know practical skills too. So then I came up with a game plan. I decided I'm going to pitch an educational podcast about this. And after I got the go ahead, I went and made a prototype logo and a prototype episode one. And after great feedback, I revised, edited, and rebranded <laughs> completely. And it's been great. And one of the best things about this class and about this podcast has been letting me be myself going to the podcast booth and, well, and allowing myself to make really bad jokes and stupid meme references the entire time. And it's me. It's led to my friends and family saying, I can imagine your face as I listen to this. And that makes me super proud because I'm kind of shy. <laughs> and being able to just be myself and put myself out there has been great. So bottom line, this class and making a podcast is going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. Like, don't be afraid of it because uh, hard work plus passion means that it's going to be totally worth it in the end.